Today in What's New in Backpacking Gear, we're going to be talking about insulation. How's it going guys and welcome to What's New in Backpacking Gear. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you will get notified anytime one of these videos comes out. If you like the video, give it the thumbs up. It'd be great to hear from you. If you've got any comments about what you see in the content of this video, make sure you comment on it below. If you'd like to give me some ideas on gear you'd like to know more about, put that in the comment below as well. Big congratulations goes out to our Tread Labs Pace Insoles winners from last week. Karen Tanner, Following the Ages, and Southwest Ohio Adventures. Congratulations, guys. Be sure to get a hold of me so that you guys can get your free insoles from Tread Labs. Today, we're all about insulation, and I've got two items for you that you can buy today, and I got one item for you that's coming out real soon, and I got one awesome sale that's going to be starting next Monday. So without further ado, let's get to it. Anybody who's been backpacking in the last few years knows that the Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer jacket is the standard bearer for ultralight backpacking jackets. Well now the Ghost Whisperer has a cousin known as the Ghost Shadow. The Ghost Shadow jacket is a hooded synthetic insulated jacket that is windproof, that is insulated, that is freaking sick! It's awesome! I just can't get words! This thing weighs 11.7 ounces, which in the grand scheme of things is not a very heavy jacket, especially when you consider the benefits that this jacket offers. This jacket boasts three things. One of those things is that it is ultra recycled. That's right, ultra recycled. As a matter of fact, the jacket boasts being 88% recycled materials. Between the 100% post-industrial recycled shell fabric and semi-recycled trims lining and insulation, the Ghost Shadow has 88% total recycled content. That's five recycled PET bottles that won't end up in a landfill, which is really awesome to know that you can be a part of better taking care of this world that we live in. Another great feature of this jacket is that the back of it comes down below your waistline, which is awesome if you're a long-waisted person and you always get those drafts in cold weather that come up the back of your jacket. This actually prevents that and comes down. It's also great for us guys who are a little bigger and our pants tend to ride a little bit lower sometimes, if you know what I mean. The outside fabric is a 10 denier recycled ripstop nylon and the inside is a 20 denier nylon. So at 11.7 ounces, the Ghost Shadow is a fantastic synthetic down jacket that you can wear to stay warm in the backcountry. Currently, you can only pick this up at REI Co-op. If you go to REI.com, you can check this jacket out. It comes in at $250, but right now there's a sale going on that if you were a member of the Co-op, you get 20% off one item, and if this is your item, that means you're getting this jacket for $50 off. So be sure to go to REI.com and check out that sale and how you can get this jacket a little bit cheaper right now. The number two item that you can get right now is the UGQ Bandit from Underground Quilts. If you go to UGQOutdoor.com, you can check out all the information about this quilt, but I want to knock down three brand new things that they've started doing with this quilt this year. One of the great things that UGQ has done is they've upgraded their pad attachment system. If you're a tent camper, you like to attach your quilt to your sleeping pad. By doing that, it keeps drafts from getting in and the old attachment system was a little on the wonky side. So what did UGQ do? They improved upon it. They made it a better system that's much more user friendly. Another great thing that UGQ came up with this year is a snap attachment at the foot of their quilts. A lot of your, your top quilts that you get, you can zip them up and tie them shut, but there's always that little hole in the bottom. UGQ came up with a phenomenal idea to cover that hole up to keep drafts from getting in in cold weather and making your feet cold. And that's a simple snap at the bottom of your foot box. It looks awesome, it does an incredible job. I've talked to some people that are using that quilt and they love the fact that their feet aren't getting cold from drafts coming in that hole. A lot of times we like to shove socks in there, some kind of fabric. All of us have done something to try and make that better and UGQ just made that a whole lot easier by adding a simple snap. But if there's one thing that I really like that they have come out with this year 
for the Bandit Quilt. It's the Dynamic Tension Control System. A few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I got on Instagram and saw this picture of these two quilts. One said without dynamic tension control, one said with, and I was shocked at what this new system does to help allow your quilt to fit around you better and prevent drafting. They've simply made it so that you can tension the sides of your quilt to pull them in closer to your body, which allows you to sleep not only a little bit more comfortable, I know a lot of people who use mummy bags like it because it's in tight on them. This allows for that kind of a feel, but also if you're in a hammock, it keeps your, your quilt from moving around on you and opening up in the middle of the night, which, I gotta be honest, in my, my current quilt, it's come unsnapped from behind my neck, it's come open, and all of a sudden, one side of my body is absolutely freezing. But this will allow your quilt to actually hold in snug around your body and keep you so much warmer. If you wanna find out more about the UGQ Bandit Quilt, just go on over to UGQOutdoor.com. They're a family-owned business, a cottage company that you can trust, and they're one of the most customizable companies in the world when it comes to tarps and to insulation. So be sure to check out UGQOutdoor.com. Another trusted company in the backpacking industry is Outdoor Vitals, who makes ultralight affordable. These guys have gone and updated two of their sleeping bags. The first one is the Airy Sleeping Bag Slash Underquilt. The update on this Airy is fantastic because they were really getting into the fine details of making their sleeping bags much warmer. You could say the big word here would be baffles because they've updated not only the baffles that hold in all of your insulation but also baffles near the zipper so that air doesn't come in through the zipper. This is always a great option when you're buying a sleeping bag to have one that actually allows for air not to come in through those little tiny cracks in your zipper. Zippers allow in just enough air that you usually feel a little bit of a draft, but if you've got these awesome baffles right beside the zipper, it's amazing how much less cold air is actually gonna get in. They've also updated their suspension system as well so that they can use this airy sleeping bag not only as an underquilt, but also as a hammock pod to wrap around your quilt and then around you. There are two insulation options for these sleeping bags. You've got a down option, which is an 800 plus down, or you've got the idea for a hybrid loft tech insulation. A hybrid option gives you 80% loft tech insulation and 20% down. This is great because this thing can get completely immersed in water and it will not lose its insulation and it should not lose its loft. Also, they've updated the Summit sleeping bag. The new Summit sleeping bag uses new ultra light materials and fabric to lighten the load. It's also a slimmer cut so it fits in a little bit more snug to keep you a little bit warmer. But the big update on this sleeping bag is where they put the zipper. Typically on a sleeping bag, your zipper is gonna be on the side to open up, let you in and out of your sleeping bag. Well, they're trying something new by putting that zipper right down the front of the sleeping bag. While I haven't been given an actual weight for these sleeping bags, they're saying that the Summit sleeping bag is way lighter than the original version while still using an 800 plus fill power down insulation. If you wanna get your hands on one of these sleeping bags, you're gonna have to wait just a few days because they don't go on sale until November 26th. So get over to OutdoorVitals.com and check them out on November 26th so you can get your hands on this new Airy and the new Summit sleeping bags. So I've given you two things you can buy right now, one thing you can start buying next week, and right now I wanna give you a sale that starts next Monday and goes all the way through the next Monday, and that's the everything is on sale deal at Hammock Gear. Whether you're a hammock camper or whether you're a tarp camper, Hammock Gear has gear that's gonna help you out. So go over next Monday at midnight till midnight the next Monday to check out Hammock Gear's everything is on sale deal. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Stay strong. Hike long. We'll catch you on the next go-around.